some people will some people will say, alright, I want to overclock my system at the same time as having some power saving as well. Fine, alright. If you want to make this dynamic, okay, open up your EPU. Okay, open up your EPU and set it to auto. Okay, set it to auto. Once it's been set to auto, once it's been set to auto, see here. When the GPU loading goes down, it will go down to 500 again. All right, it will go down to 500 again, which okay, which will give you about the penalty of about one percent performance drop. However, one percent performance drop with respect to the power saving is going to actually deliver to you. I think it's pretty fair. All right. So basically, means that we will okay, our technology will actually allow you to to will boost your GPU frequency whenever it's required. And once you actually go to the EPU. EPU this time, all right. The EPU this time is a little bit different to what we actually had before. Right? Before we actually need to run like no, no, you know CPU calibration and a lot of things, which is very troublesome, and like no, most reviewers don't even know how to use it, okay? Because the explanation is not very clear. All right, this time we actually make it very simple. All right, once you in, once you start up your EPU six engine, you will actually start, okay? Instead of starting from a high performance mode, which is basically disabling EPU. We actually starting it up with auto, with auto, which means it's actually going to start with the power saving mode already. All right. According to our test, okay. According to our test, the maximum power saving you can get, okay, you can get from the high loading condition is about twenty percent. All right. And when you actually go down, okay, when you actually go down to the maximum power saving mode, okay, the maximum you can actually get is around eighty percent save. And if you are still not satisfying with all these configurations, okay, and you say, all right, I want to save even more, fine. There is still a way to do it, okay. Once you actually set this to power saving to extreme, okay, from both sides, okay, of course, the high performance don't actually give you any power saving at all here, okay, at least for the CPU part. Once you actually do here, like, like so, it will actually ask you to calibrate the CPU, but it's on, on, only for once, you don't need to calibrate for the second time. Okay, once this is calibrated, the power saving is going to go even further. All right, and then we are actually going to go into core on local and turbo key two. Okay. All right, Jack. How is this different from users in the past doing it through the BIOS? And, you know. Well, if you actually go into BIOS and actually drop down your vehicle by yourself, okay, you are going, you are, you are actually restricted to only one frequency and one. Call. However, in here is dynamic change. All right, so it basically means that when your loading is going high, the voltage goes up and frequency goes up. When your loading is low, you actually go down. All right, to even further. All right, what we actually said, what we actually said in in here about my EPU is some is some values that will not allow you to put your system from. Okay, so it's very it's going to be very very power saving. So you're bypassing the system limitations. Actually. Yes, correct.